basically the last day. This was the quickest haircut of my life. Like five minutes, she just trimmed the sides, didn't touch the top. Uh, I'm gonna wash my hair now and then kind of see what it looks like once the curls are back because I guess you kind of like stretch out the hair. But it was only a hundred baht, like three bucks, so pretty good value. We out here at this random park. Since I was finally back in Bangkok, I reached out to Lee and uh, yeah, we just hit up the malls together. He showed me the secret spots and all the things to do. Movies. โอเคค่ะกว่าจะลงเอยกันได้นะคะชุดI didn't record the rest of the, my time in the mall, but I said goodbye to Lee, uh, one last hug, and then, yeah, it was time to go back to the hostel, and I only had a few more hours left of daylight. And the person that worked at my hostel recommended this uh, river that was more local than some of the other floating markets called Kong La Mayom. 
I think my issue is that I went like right near its closing, so I actually didn't see the floating market. So either I went to the wrong one or I, um, yeah, I don't know. I'm not too sure where the floating market is, but it was very beautiful, even though I, I completely missed the floating market and I saw only like one boat the entire other time, but it was very beautiful and it was just a serene, quiet reflection on my time in Thailand. My last stop in Thailand was Terminal 21, which is another mall. Um, it's not like Psy and Paragon, which felt like really fancy, but this one felt a little bit more cuter and for like the average person. It was a themed like a uh, airport, which was really cool. So each floor was a different country. And I went to the food court on the bottom, but I didn't know there was a food court on top on the upper floors, which is a major L on my end. <laughs> seen an airport this empty before it was around 6 a.m but the priority lounge was still open or one of the priority lounges and it was incredible as you can see very empty but still very beautiful inside and yeah i was like a 26 hour flight back so i just knocked out real quick and woke up <laughs> 